Hello and welcome to this carrier update. First one of the morning, I'm Anthony Smith here with the one and only ever insightful Thomas Watson. Thomas, thanks for being here and looks like we're jumping right into some Tinder rejection index. Looking at the rejection rates, and no, I'm not talking about Valentine's Day, folks. Outbound Tinder rejection rates nationwide across all modes, throwing the caveat here, we'll break it down in a minute, 3.85%. And so putting this in context over the past uh, six-ish months, uh, you know, one of the things we were talking about was we we're going to see this bullish movement. We we're going to start to see nature heal itself in terms of truckload capacity and it turns out the answer is no uh, outbound tender injections are a great tool to find out who has pricing power in the market we thought that carriers want to get close to that magic five to seven percent number where we start to see your typical routing guide tender compliance expectations we're back down so it kind of begs the question typically it's peak season uh, but unfortunately we're in more of a trough right now and Thomas, when we're looking at um, the current capacity on the roads, of course, we talked about a little bit yesterday, there's just still too much capacity in order to really kind of support upward movement in rates right now. As we kind of start to get closer into the holiday season, what are your expectations, especially as we start to see a lot of retailers and outlets start to do these early holiday sales, prime days following the suit of Amazon going into the holiday season? Well, we're seeing, this is where the econ ha can help as well, um, is inventory levels replenishing, restocking. Uh, when you see deep discounts like that, that would be indicative that they want to get this stuff out. I'd read some reports that some companies still had stuff from last year sitting inside warehouses, so not a fun situation, but also depends on what you're hauling. So let's look it up and see here. We have Van in green, uh, Reefer in blue, and Fotri, also our promo. It still, should still be the promo for our F3 tickets, FOT. TRI in orange. And one thing that we're talking about, we're looking at this movement here. Why is it going down? Well, the most remarkable one's going to be uh, the movement in the open deck and flatbed segment, 6.68% and reefer at 6.99%. You know, that's that's the thing that when we want to look at overall uh, movements, those are the two big ones. They're weighing it down. They're making it move downward. And looking in the van segment, it's actually underperforming nationwide. We're looking at about 3.65%. So it's, it's a tough situation. It's a hard knock life if you're out there on the vans, at least with reefer and flatbed nationwide, you have some ability. You know, you're probably still on, uh, you're taking as much as you can, but you can sparingly hand back some tenders. If you're in the van segment though, uh, it's like hungry, hungry hippos. <laughs> and talking to some of these other specialty trailer ties, talking about reefer just yesterday and what goes into that, of course, protect from freeze also has kind of come into play here a little bit. Um, flatbed, one that is always gonna have some activity in industrial activity and then of course within housing and construction we're going to be some of the seasonal trends which is going to come to your mind when you're thinking about flatbed or open deck right now well also depends on the weather if we're going to have much of a colder winter we typically see construction shut down beginning in the winter months it gets too cold you don't want to go to job sites it's a lot of work uh open deck segment suffers from that now with the inflation reduction act we're seeing a lot of infrastructure movements uh so theoretically that should continue to provide some form of continued demand so long as the job sites are open but uh this is definitely a problem because uh, even when i was a broker we did open deck stuff we'd be sending them to job sites building housing and everything else so we try to fit a 53 foot trailer inside one of those small areas but that that's the big challenge is we're going to uh have to see you know flatbeds the canary in the coal mine for uh industrial activity and in spite of the fact that we do have some stimulus induced uh demand uh, it's going to be a situation where with housing being so bad as it is and the fact that interest rates are so high, it really doesn't incentivize a lot of people to want to keep building when you're getting half as much house as you could have got about two years ago. Certainly a lot of interesting aspects within housing. Tom, thank you for this quick update. We'll check in with you again soon. Right now, we're going to toss things over to Kaylee Nix. So I first look at today's top stories.